It's nighttime. You're laying in bed. You're exhausted, but you can't shut your mind off. You are tossing and turning. You keep checking the time. 12.35, 12.42, 12.47, 1.05 a.m. You have to wake up at 6 a.m. for work. You start getting frustrated that you can't sleep. You stare at the popcorn ceiling in your bedroom, and then it hits you. You remember your friend talking about using white noise to help him fall asleep. You've ran out of options, so you put on white noise. You put on the sound of rain falling, and it's relaxing. You slowly drift to sleep. But what if I told you that the sound of rain that you fell asleep to wasn't actually rain? It's the sound of food being fried in a pan. Don't believe me? Listen again. Mind blown, eh? So maybe next time you can't sleep, think about frying some food. So you're laying in bed thinking about the sound of rain that is actually frying food. What food are you imagining right now? See, I'm picturing bacon. Lovely, lovely bacon on that pan, on my oven. It's making me hung just thinking about it. They say bacon makes everything better. Hamburger, put some bacon on it. You got a lettuce and tomato sandwich, put some bacon on it. Boom, BLT. Eating healthy and having a salad, bacon bits, bacon wrapped shrimp, cheesy bacon popcorn, baked beans with bacon. See what I'm saying? I can go on and on. But what if, and hear me out, you put bacon in a movie? Does it make the movie better? It took me so long to get what you're doing. Let's find out. <laughs> Today, the Moist Boys dive into the Kevin Bacon classic, Tremors. So as the film begins, we get this oddly blurry shot, which I'm not quite sure why they start with that. (laughs) Weird. Of Kevin Bacon. Taking a piss. Yep, pissing. (laughs) No, immediately. And this was my first note. Why is Kevin Bacon kind of gross and just like not his usual hot self? Well, yeah, because it's wild because people know him from Footloose. And then he did this movie called Tremors, which is a B-grade horror action comedy, which is wild. Um, yeah, so it literally starts off with Texas harmonica music or Southwestern or whatever. You, you keep know? saying Texas. This movie takes place, place in Nevada. Nevada. But it's like the desert, you know, Texas. They either listen to country music. It makes me think of Texas. Okay. But like he's literally wearing a dirty wife beater. Like it's like dirty. Yeah. Taking a piss. And then he gets on taking a piss and scratches his butt. Yep. And I'm pretty sure he like burps or oh, something. Like Hoxalugia. Yeah. It's like, gross. What the yeah. heck is like, we're already starting off on a great note. Yep. And it's just like, all right, bacon at its finest. <laughs> I, I, I loved this. And then he wakes up his partner. Yep. And what a wild way to wake up. <laughs> because at first he like whis- talks like, normally to him. In like the bed of a truck, too. Yeah, right? he's sleeping yeah. in a sleeping bag. And then he starts jumping on the truck to wake him up. And why would you wake up like this? This guy freaks out and rolls headfirst out of it. Because he yells stampede. <laughs> oh, that's true. Which I don't know. Why wouldn't you just stay in the truck then? Yeah, You'd be I probably just, safer. I'd be like a tighter ball. Yeah. So I think in a stampede, you want to like lay as flat as possible and hope that they just run over you. Yeah, but if you lay in a truck bed, you'll probably be fine. Yeah, probably. I would Instead imagine that'd be much ground. safer. Yeah, so then they're talking about stampedes. <laughs> and then Earl is his name because it's Valentine and Earl. Right. Val and Earl. I keep forgetting his name is Valentine. I called him Kevin Bacon the entire yep. time. <laughs> but Earl, they're talking about stampedes and he goes, I wish a stampede up your ass. What does that mean? <laughs> exactly what it's supposed to. But I already, I was like, okay, I already love it. Yeah. I already love sold it. sold on Earl. <laughs> and then they bust out the cigarettes, which I got a pack of cigarettes here. I'll wait till the end to bust them out though. Okay. Because <laughs> it smells. Well, we're, we're dressed in our, our, our Nevada's best. Yep. I. This is I, what we would look like if we were in the movie, okay? For I people think that's watching fair. at home. Yeah. We're both wearing hats, flannels with white shirts underneath. <laughs> I got my fucking steel toe boots on. Anyway, I forgot I had these. Yeah, I think mine are in the basement, but they are <laughs> falling apart. And then we find out that they're handymen. Yes. That they just do loose jobs, just odd I guess. jobs, yeah. Uh, which is weird. And I love that they do, this, they do this throughout the movie, that they do rock, paper, scissors, but just once yep. to decide who gets to do things which or who gets to pick. I'm a fan of. But like just once. It's not even best of. No. It's just like, okay, I guess I'm doing it. Yeah, but they do it throughout the entire film, which I think is fair. I guess that's kind of fun where it's like, OK, because they like look at each other and nod and then they do it. <laughs> and then we find out they're driving around that they only have three bucks to the both of them. They're broke as fuck. And like they were working a job recently, too. Yeah. Like They're doing work. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're driving around. And they, where were they just sleeping in the woods at the start of the movie? Like what were what was going on there? 
They never I, really. <laughs> it wasn't the woods either. It was just yeah. the middle of a desert. Yep. I don't. Yeah. I don't know where they were. I don't think we ever see their house, do we? Um. Yeah. Because they start. They they pick stuff up and oh, put right, it in the back. Yeah. Of, yeah. Real quick. So we see them leaving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like they don't have enough money to live there, so they leave. I don't know. <laughs> but then we meet. Wait, but there's another scene oh, there's that another? I don't know if you caught. It's when they're doing an on job where they're hammering like the barbed wire into oh, that yes, fence. Oh yes, yes, yes. If you watch the scene, I highly recommend it. Watch how many times it takes Kevin Bacon to try and hit. Oh yeah, whatever. he's missing. He misses at least eight I times. I read a fun fact that he that that was not in the script, and he did that on purpose. He missed on purpose. Yeah, he missed on purpose. I think he just did a bad job. <laughs> he just sucks at hammering. And then finally got it, and then moved on. <laughs> but the director apparently shot. liked it, so he kept it in. I liked it. I noticed it immediately. It, it just proves it. that they're bad handymen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like they're just pieces of shit. Yeah, but now. <laughs> Now they're driving, they see a gal, some, or they see her car somewhere, and they're like, well, let's go check it out. And we get Kevin Bacon's definition of a perfect woman. Yes. Which did you is, write this down? I did write it down. I did. Okay. <laughs> All right. So long blonde hair. Check. Big green eyes. Check. World-class breasts. Check. Ass that won't quit. Check. And legs that go all the way up. Uh, what does that mean? Sign me up, dude. That sounds awesome. What does all the way up mean? Is he talking about like the length or is like the flexibility? I don't know what that means. But he and then he pulls down the thing and he has photos of blonde women. Um, <laughs> like he has a, photos of <laughs> some lady. I have her name. Tammy Lynn Wexler, which is just one of his love interests, I guess. I, or I, a famous person back then. Maybe I, I did not look her. up. I didn't look her up either. But he's like obsessed with her. But then we meet Rhonda. Rhonda, who and, is. The complete opposite of all that Not stuff. Not complete opposite. I'm sure her breasts are fine. I mean, her legs. Yeah, I like your go legs. Go all the way up. Yeah, I like your legs. It, she, she didn't have blonde hair though. No, she had like curly brown hair. But the thing that drove me crazy is she had this thing that I don't know if is a real thing. The really thick sunblock on your nose. Yes, like, she did it. You're wearing sunblock everywhere, but your nose is white. I feel like I've only seen that on like SpongeBob. I don't know. Well, if that's they did that. Re- they did that in the Sandlot too, with like the lifeguards and did stuff. Did they? Okay, like, yeah, is that's that, like back in the day they used to do it all the time. Why wouldn't? But like, if you spread it in, it still stays. Yeah, I don't know. And why do you do it on your nose? Because it's yeah. more likely to be burned or something. I don't know. Like, I feel like nose isn't the worst part of my burns ever. No, it's like my forehead or something or shoulders. Or shoulders, yeah. yeah. But I guess like if you're wearing a hat and a shirt, maybe the nose is the most. Maybe, but just put on normal sunscreen instead of looking like a door. Because also, like, yeah, you look so afterwards. Nerdy. She like wipes her face and like it looks like she realizes that well, she did it. Because she, she was meeting two handy men and she's like, oh fuck, I embarrassed myself by having sunscreen on my nose. But it's like, what do you expect? But also, she has it on later too. Oh, does she? Yeah. Really? I didn't catch that. I like how at first Kevin Bacon was like, ah, oh, god damn, it's not who I wished it was. Right. Yeah. But I. She's cute as hell, dude. I think she's cute. Yeah, I think she's very cute. Nothing wrong with her, and yeah. she's smart. Yeah, and this very is where smart. We, we get the first hint of weird seismic activity. Yeah, because she goes, the ground is vibrating. <laughs> Ooh. So what does that mean? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and she's like, she came from like college or something to check the vibrations in this area. I guess, which is so weird because this area is deserted. And this town I looked up has a population of fourteen. Yeah, you looked. It shows it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, they showed the population. Yeah, but I didn't of, catch it yeah, at oh, first. Okay. Yeah, but 14 people. Yeah, because that's my next note is City of Perfection, population 14. Yeah, the city's called Perfection. What the fuck? I don't know. They just, I, towns just do that. I, I Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I do love, like, so they're on their way back to the town, and they're just t- talking in the truck. And I said, like, the dialogue here is, like, really bad because it's, uh, it's kind of a B-grade movie. Yeah. But I do love it. Like, I love their bickering because well, they do that the entire movie. It's not it's just a weird way to, realistic. Yeah, it's just a weird way to start because you're like, what am I watching? Right. Like, but then they pull into the town and they go straight to the market. Wait. Walter Chang's market. Which I did not read before like the scene started. Like I, it, I went back and checked the name because... There's an Asian man running the store. We also meet Reba McIntyre here. Which yes, is also, we she do. looks so fucking cute. She in looks this. so good. Dude. Yeah. I love she's her and her husband. Ba- yeah, yeah, her husband's my favorite. Yeah, and she's a babe. But at one point, there's there's one Asian man in this small Nevada town, and then someone just goes like, all right, Chang. I'm like, oh, fuck. His name is Walter Chang. I, so it's Walter Chang's I had to make market. sure, because also the one Asian person we called Chang, which I guess community did too. Yeah, but it's like, uh, that's a little racist. You could have done I, anything is, else. You have Valentine. Yeah, like, <laughs> but also Val? I guess you have Earl and Rhonda. Rhonda. Like it was just like <laughs> not not the best naming situation in this movie. I don't even know Reba's name in this. 
Um, I, I wrote it down when I kept calling her Reba. Right, yeah. I think her name was like Heather or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, she was incredible in this. But they pull up to the market and we meet Ooh, Reba her and her husband. Bert. Bert, yeah. yes. I wrote that one down. Bert is awesome. I love Bert. But then they go to have a beer and they're like, it's the middle of the day and they're having a beer. So cheers to that. They're, I don't know what they're drinking, but we got Budweiser because that feels very Texas. Not Texas. It's <laughs> no matter. That's the first thing Robert said to me when he came with this beer. He's like, Texas. I'm like, nope. <laughs> yeah, but this is like a country western beer. Like, this is what working class men drink, I think. This is what these, because you could probably get it for cheap. Probably. But then, like, Chang, like, asks them to, like, fix, like, the cooler or something. And they're like, oh, we have a job to do. All right. So then they chug their beers and leave. They also have no money. <laughs> yeah, so, like, are they getting these beers for free? Probably, like, in its town of 14, what is money? Yeah, that's true, because I bet everybody there is broke. Well, and how, you have one what, market. Yeah, like, so you're all just giving him money so you survive. But I, but I wonder if, like, he probably just gives people free stuff. And then they just do shit for him? Like, I feel like you it's operate like a, in more of a bartering it's a trade. system. Yeah, yeah, because he's doing work for people around so, the town. But 14 people, how much work can you do? If you live in a town of 14 people and somehow found this podcast, email us at moistmondaypodcast at gmail.com. I bet, people that live in small, happens? I bet people that live in small towns love Tremors. Yeah. Or maybe they hate it because they're scared. Oh, true. Fear. Fear's the biggest motivator. The dirt's moving. <laughs> just feel like that's what they yell. <laughs> but then we find out the earth is shaking. It was already vibrating, but now it's shaking. Because my next note is that we get a worm POV. Yes, dude, <laughs> it's my favorite thing. The POV of the worm where it chases Rhonda to her truck. And it's just like literally just a camera near the ground going. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's so funny, dude. Because also you don't like if you didn't know anything about this movie, you'd be like, what the fuck is happening now? But, it, but it's kind of smart because it's they can show the monster less. Yes, which is always key for these yeah, movies. Yeah, because it's a monster film, which is wild because I would never consider it a monster film, but it is. It's absolutely, yeah, it's it, a creature it's feature. It's a creature feature. Yeah. Uh, but they, I think they did that to build suspense because they don't show the monster for a while. Yeah. Which is which is kind of, that's what they do in monster movies. They mm -hmm. wait to show it. Um, that's but why they Alien her, is the best. But they follow her to the truck and she doesn't even notice. And mm -hmm. I, I just wrote, she's cute as hell, dude. I, yeah. I'm into that type she's of She's got legs like all the way up yeah <laughs> and then it cuts to our boys the yep. dirt the dirt boys is yep. what we're gonna call them the dirt boys doing picking up trash okay doing work and then they sit down and they pull out beers out of a toilet yep that's my next note is they are literally drinking out of a toilet toilet beers at least it's like a can and they crack it yeah but why is it in the toilet I, like that's just and the toilet's like disgusting right yeah like is there a ice in the toilet at least so maybe it's a makeshift cooler maybe that doesn't have a lid but also just get a cool well does it did it have a lid no it was broken oh, it was damn. just the bottom part Lame. of the toilet <laughs> if so, it had a lid, that'd be like oh uh uh the red green show or something like that that'd be something that i used to love that show back in the day that is oh you didn't know it's on pbs oh is that the guy who built shit yeah he was okay. like a super old man yeah. very country dude and he would build the weirdest fucking probably love tremors yeah probably did but then it cuts to them doing another job where they're like pumping a sump pumping a sump pump or a septic tank? Septic tank or whatever, yeah. yeah. Which is... Out of a RV, I yeah, think. Yeah, out of an yeah. RV. Or a mobile is, home. Which is yeah. disgusting. And then the the kid, I'm pretty sure, is whose house this is. Who is his parents? There's I don't a, know, but this kid is on the loose. There's like a, like a probably like, what, 14-year-old boy? He's a punk-ass bitch. That's yeah, who he is. He's it. whiny. I he fucking talks hate shit. Him. And while well, they're pumping shit and like he's just being a little douchebag, but I don't know who his parents are. No, they never. They, but he's in the entire movie. Yeah, they never. So like what I love about this he's one of the 14 people is he's sitting on the front deck watching them do the septic tank thing. And he goes, why don't you go buy me some beer? Yep. And it Ura goes, son, beer is for adults. Like, <laughs> As if like the whole town isn't drunk all the time. Yeah, exactly. But then they start bickering. Again, yep, about, about leaving, about leaving, and then the fucking thing breaks and they get splattered with poop. Yep, <laughs> just, they just get boys get sprayed with shit, and then they move. Yeah, then they drive away. <laughs> like they go to their house and they. It's also adorable. Like we don't know, they're not brothers. No, they're just friends. Yeah, and like I think Earl is older than him. Yes, by probably like ten years. Yeah, but they both are like adults, obviously. Yeah, so maybe like thirty and forty-five or something like that. But like, was Kevin? I guess it was 1990s, so Kevin Bacon might have been 30. But I don't know how old he's supposed to be in the movie. But sure. I mean, they are like the leaders, kind of, or they have to, they become kind of. the leaders. Yeah, like I don't think, does this town have like a mayor? Do you do There's that? only 14 people, dude. Know, yeah, it's not even a town. It's like a township or right, a village. Yeah. And there's only one fucking store and the rest are houses. Yeah. Which is insane. And they're not even houses. But they're driving around, you know, because they're like, let's get out of here. We're going to, we're going to Bixby. And then they see one of their old friends. Edgar Dean 
and they go, oh, Edgar's climbing the tower. Yep. And they're, let's go say hi to Edgar. <laughs> Edgar's fucking dead. Well, they think he's drunk and yeah. asleep at the top of a tower with a gun. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's that was kind of freaky when they just show his face. Yeah, you're like, oh, okay, oh, he's just dead on top of a yeah, tower. He's dead, and it turns out he died of dehydration, <laughs> which, which takes means days, at least three days. <laughs> he was up, and he's holding a gun, like a massive so, rifle. And like, how far out of town was he? Like, is he one of the fourteen? I'm guessing he's one of the fourteen. All right, so now we're down to thirteen. We're down to thirteen All already. Right. Already, <laughs> but also, I think it was right before this we meet Mindy. Another child who I don't know who her parents are. No, Mindy, the mom is there. Okay. Yeah, the mom. The right, mom is, the yeah. cute mom. Yeah, yeah. The mom is there because Mindy's in a post. But did you know who Mindy is? No. She's the girl from Jurassic Park. No shit. Yep. The, like the, he left us. Yeah, like girl? the daughter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's the she's from Jurassic cool. Park. Cool, good for Mindy. Which is wild. And another fun fact is, I'm pretty sure I looked this up, at the, I was going to mention it at the end, but she also returns in the third drummers. Really? Because um, I think I looked it up. Miguel is in most of them, even though he's barely in this one. Oh, that's OK. Yeah. I mean, he's he's in it. He's in it. I don't he, he talks. I don't know what he does. I'm curious about the other drummer movies because like what there, happens? I think, I think there's seven. I think I looked it up. So does it follow the same town, but not all the people return? I think like the third one's called Return to Perfection. OK, so the second one, that's a different town. Probably maybe. And then what the then, fuck? I think fourth one takes place in like cowboy times, and, and then there's one, one in <laughs> Antarctica or something. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck, dude? I think one of them they get wings. Which how can a blind thing fly? I guess bats. But, bats. But like this thing doesn't use echolocation; it uses like vibrations. Yeah, yeah. seismic. <laughs> yeah. So but, I don't. I don't know what kind of evolution could give a mole wings. Well, I mean, they probably address it at the top of the film and then never talk about it again. I bet it's just toxic spill yeah, or just, something stupid <laughs> like that. It ate poop. <laughs> I don't know what to tell. Now it can fly. <laughs> Science. <laughs> but then we cut to an old farmer and he's doing his thing, but his sheep are going wild. Fred. That's his name. His yep. name is Fred. Because later on they call him Old Fred and then Izzy and I were talking about like, what's it take to be called Old something? Yeah. Because like Old Jacob doesn't sound good. Old, old Jake, Jake. You could do that. Old Jakey? Yeah. Yeah, maybe like when my because I imagine myself old like I am, looking like this, <laughs> I, but like my back is just a shepherd's crook. I yeah. think I think I am just a round man. I could be old Bob, old Bob, old but Robbie. Then but then it's like if I, I feel Bob. like if you get classified as an old something, you're like very just like beer gut fucking. Yeah, because I think at that point I let live on your own. And I let what hair I have grow out. Yeah, where you just kind of look like. I'm excited to do that, to reach that point crazy. of old person. Where it doesn't matter. Yeah. Where I'll probably dress the same. It'll just have a really different effect. And then people are like, ooh, that, there goes old Jake. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> old Jay. You could be old Jay. Old Jay. I don't mind yeah. that. Old Jay. OJ. Someone needs oh, to take that. OJ, yep. Yeah. The title's up for grabs There's a new killer in town. <laughs> <laughs> He's juice coming after work. is loose. <laughs> but the farmer like notices his sheep going crazy and he just goes oh whatever and goes back to work yep this is one job but whatever and then gets fucking sucked Dude, down by the gets got by worm just, <laughs> just jesus for every kill i just put he got got yeah he got i feel got. like that's what happens you just get got just gone but i love how they so they're, they're driving around and they find his they find like the crime scene and they're like oh fuck and then they find his hat well because all right so they leave town and then they run into um what was it? Earl, not Earl. Edgar. Edgar. Edgar on the post. Keep going. Uh, no, then they go back and tell people about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah. they're leaving town again. And then they see like, oh my God, there's a bunch of slaughtered sheep over there. And then they pick up a hat. And then his head is just his head. <laughs> old Fred's like, head. So he didn't get stuck down all the way. Just his head got stuck. And then that Wait, was kind of scary. The worm does spit shit out though. Very often. Yeah, but not. I th I'm pretty sure just ate him and left his head. And this is. My, where my favorite quote of the movie comes in. It's, okay, I didn't have a quote here. It's when Kevin Bacon goes, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I mean, what the hell is going on? And dude, Kevin, Bacon acting, Kevin Bacon's acting in this wasn't Subpar. the greatest. But I love him so much it, that I was like, I'm into this. He did not take away from the film no, whatsoever. It, it was not His distracting. accent was a little hit and miss. But like... It was. You could just tell. It was like this is this it's, is what it this is, is happening. You know, yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> there are worms. But then they're leaving town again, and the cons they're tell the construction. Oh, no, they go back to town. Yep, because to they drive past that. the construction people, and then they, on, on the way back, the construction people get taken. Well, yeah, because they drive down. They talk to Carmine. <laughs> oh, that's his name. Yeah, <laughs> Carmine Laguzzi. Yeah, <laughs> Carmine Laguzio. No, the j dude doing the jackhammer is Carmine. I assume they are not. 
of yeah, the 14. Yeah, I don't think so. I think but we're they, down to 12 already. Yes, we're down to 12. And he's Jack Ambrose. So yeah, they talk to them and then leave. And the guys are like, well, they're just crazy. So he's continuing jackhammering. Somehow hits a fucking worm. Yeah, he must have been really close to the surface because blood I starts. Yes, yeah. And then he it, and then he drags him yeah. with the sledgehammer. A jackhammer. Jack but like hammer. jackhammer moves so slowly. Or like not slowly, but like not deep. No, it doesn't. It's you're just breaking you're the cement. You're breaking yeah, you're just creating rubble. Yeah, so you're had not to be trying like a, to puncture shit. It had to be like right at the edge, but usually when it's right at the edge, the, the ground, ground bubbles. Because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we see that later. <laughs> but I did like how it's just blood and he's like, what the hell? Because <laughs> now the boys are trying to leave town for a third time. Yes. So the they're, <laughs> they're leaving Perfection Valley and then they come back and the road is blocked because of the worm. The worm fucked up Carmine <laughs> so bad and the, the other two. <laughs> the, 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 just the rubble is there and then you just see hard hats with blood on. Yeah. Like, like the remnants of body parts is like, okay, that looks bad, but it's kind of scary. Yeah. But also like, I it's don't. It's just chunks of meat. Which I don't understand. Like if a worm eats you, there shouldn't be chunks. Yeah. But also like its tongue is like multiple smaller worms. Yeah. Because we'll get into so that. So maybe it's like just ripping it apart and like kind of just throwing it places. I don't understand exactly, uh, um, but then they're fucking freaking out because they see blood and shit, and Kevin Bacon gets his fucking truck stuck. Oh, right. He backs up. Into oh, the, yeah, that's when this happened. He backs up into like the wall, and you're like, and they're like, you got it stuck, and he's like, I'll get it fine. I'll, and they finally gets it out and drives back to the freaking thing, and we find out a worm is wrapped around the axle. Because this one confused me for a second because I was like, oh, I thought the worms were bigger than this. Because I like how they introduced this, where you see a smaller worm. Yes. It's like wrapped around. It's wrapped around the axle, and it's like, fuck, dude. And it got torn off. and But it was pulling the truck, so like, this shit's crazy strong. It's crazy strong, but but you see it, and you go, that's that's kind of small. But we'll get into that later, dude, because it's actually not. Yeah. <laughs> Which is terrifying. But then we fi- we meet Bert. I mean, we've already kind of met him, but oh, Bert's yeah. like super important here, this Reba's husband. And <laughs> he's like, he, Bert, like, they pull, the, they pull the, the, the worm off, and he goes, It had to be one strong son of a bitch (laughs) to stop a truck. And then, of course, Walter Chang wants to buy it from them. Fifteen bucks? Fifteen bucks is what they settle on because he initially offers them five. (laughs) But then in his infinite wisdom of selling things. It's now a photo shoot. It's now a photo shoot to the other 12 people in town. Yeah, like that's the like, but we see people taking photos with it. And then, oh, so the kids, the teenager's name is Melvin. Melvin. Yeah. Another piece of shit. Because Melvin gets a smart idea to like pretend like the worm's attacking him and fucking Bert's ready to just kill that child. Yeah. Like, that child is collateral damage because also Reba and Bert are preppers. Oh, yeah. They're damn they're good at it. Per- like they're wild and we'll get into other scenes where I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. But so while they're while they're dealing with this, it cuts to a different couple that just moved to the area. Yes. And this couple, because they just moved, I don't think count as the 14 population because they weren't registered yet. Um, I don't know. But we can add them if we want to. So they're they like ba- own property. There. Yeah, that's true. Because um, they're building a house and they live in a mobile home. But like they're they, they're doing some work and then they sit down and they're talking about their future and they're happy that they're in the jungle. They get a look at the stars, but pretty then, soon they're going to be looking at a roof. And then, and then the, the generator goes away. The it's worm eats the generator and then spits it out. <laughs> and then I love that. Where I wrote down it this goes quote. up. And then, <laughs> well, he like, goes, Jesus he Christ. Goes, God, what does that stink? <laughs> like, like the entire movie, these things are stinky. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, they're worms, dude, yeah. <laughs> but the, the old man <laughs> fucking, <laughs> <laughs> goes to get the thing goes to get the um generator finds out it's gone it gets shut up and then he's like oh fuck and then he gets sucked yeah, down it's gone just gone he's gone immediately God, what a rough way to go because it shows him like struggling and you can hear his bones cracking yeah, well i like, mean jesus even like just the pressure of the earth would fuck you and you're up. being fucking pulled yeah. and eaten it by with multiple fucking worms yeah just and your wife is just like ah <laughs> yeah, she can't do shit. Then she climbs on top of a car to hide. So you don't. Know she worm... climbs in the car. Oh, does she? Okay. Yeah. yeah, right. That's true. She's in the car, freaking and the... out. And, and so she, at one point, she locks the doors. So what's that going to do? I might keep a worm out. Well, because also, <laughs> yeah, we don't know at this point how crazy they are. Yeah. So then the worm just sucks the car underground. Yeah, dude. From the rear end, and you just see the headlights, and then, dude, it's like it... Jesus. That's definitely not. It's definitely bigger than we thought it was. It's a good ad for the car, though. Ford. Yeah. It was Ford. But it's like, man, what a way to go, dude. So then we cut back, and this is where Chang is charging for photos. And Reba goes... And this is where Melvin fixed the attack, yeah. I think, yeah. And Reba goes, 
the phone's out, the road's out. We're on our own. That's how she likes it. <laughs> she likes being on her own. Well, they, they said that they're they, ready to attack. Dude. Well, they said that they chose this location because of its isolation. Yeah, geography, geographic isolation is what they <laughs> said. Fuck that. That is my nightmare. Yeah, when they're out on the loan. And then we find out that it's 38 miles to Bixby, which is the closest town, I think. So <sighs> that's, that's a ways away. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's you probably it's highway road. So fucking 40 minutes, probably. Yeah. I mean, they probably drive faster, maybe 35, but still, that's a long way to go. And then they're like, okay, well, someone has to go get help. And the boys get fucking put on horses. Yep. <laughs> Which, all right. I guess horses are fast because they don't have cars. <laughs> and like horses can go over different terrain. My thing is like a lot of this area is a desert. Yep. I, like, I guess you're like surrounded by mountains, but there's got to be a path. <laughs> And that they just do not even attempt. No, they're just roaming. Or they or try and clear the rubble. They <laughs> well, literally it was a big pile of rock. No, dude. but they have. We've seen this. They have like a a bulldozer. Yeah, yeah they have a. Why why didn't they? Which gets introduced later, so we don't know they have it. No, I think they use it already to oh, do yeah, one of their to odd do jobs. One of their odd jobs. Yeah. yeah. So like, fucking bulldoze the rubble out of the way and get some cars out of there. Well, they're probably like. Well, it's not that bad yet because they think it's small. They saw a head. Oh, yeah, that's true. And they, yeah, two people have died. Yeah, yeah I get it. <laughs> but Reba and Bert in this scene have massive rifles. They both are yep. holding them. And I just go, Jesus. And then Bert, when, when Bert like confronts him, mm-hmm. or confronts Melvin about yeah. fucking being a piece you of shit. He almost got shot. He yeah. games, you came that close. Too close. <laughs> Just, no more games is what he said. He just smoke this and child. He's fucking holding a rifle. Yep. Just, no, Melvin almost died. And then Earl goes, Melvin, one of these days someone's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I just love what everyone hates. A town it. of twelve people. Yeah, at this point. But I'm sure they grew up with him, so it's like maybe friendly 10 talk now. shit. It might be a town of ten now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, and those the, two were a part of it, yeah. So ten people left. And oh, wait, then, no, eleven, because we lost the one guy. Oh, and then Fred, but, and, and then the two, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and so then the two the, workers, but they probably didn't live the there. The workers didn't count, so we're down to ten. And then the two boys ride off into the sunset on horses. They're they're our fucking saving grace, dude. But then <laughs> the horses start freaking the yeah, fuck the out. Yeah, the horses freak out because they get. <laughs> well, they get to the side of the couples, right? Yeah, because they because they unbury the car, which because great they act. hear the radio. And they're like, where's the radio coming from? And so they see the front of the car, which I love that. Yeah. And the light's still shining. But like, Jesus. They didn't even like see if she's in there. Well, that's my that's dig- a lot of dirt to dig. But I wouldn't assume no, people to are the in the glass, it. though. They didn't dig that far. They yeah, just dug the no, front. No, I'm saying yeah. like to the glass to see if she's fucking in there. I mean, would you think someone was in there? Maybe. How would the worm get the car door off under? Like, you know? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, she just suffocates to death. Yeah. The worm she's in there for a while. Yikes, dude. But the horses start freaking out and then they... They knock him off and run away. Well, the horse gets attacked a little bit too. Though. Yeah, so the horse gets yeah. So now the, the horse gets attacked by a worm. Because I'm always like, how do you train a horse to do this? Well, so like I They're was great. Actors. I was reading that like they laid the horse down and at one point gave it a little like a a shot to like knock it out. Oh, Jesus. but it was, but like there was like a vet on site and all sure. that stuff, so it was like protected. This is kind of like what you did if you had to like do surgery on the horse. Sure. And then just so they could get shots of the legs, and then like the shot of like the worm biting it yeah. was a fake horse leg oh uh, that makes sense yeah and so they they basically just did it really quick and they just pissed off the horse yeah. just so it act mad yeah <laughs> but then <laughs> they're on their own now and earl goes man that's how they get you they're <laughs> under the goddamn ground no shit. <laughs> good <laughs> yeah and then kevin, go, kevin bacon goes what the hell are they <laughs> he's freaking out dude this is when he starts to say this and he says this the entire movie Son of a bitch. sons of bitches yep. i wanted to look up the script to see how many times i well, say that this movie yes. originally was supposed to be rated r oh because there was so much cussing sure but all they say is hell and bitch well that they they changed a lot of things oh. so i have like references i'll talk about later where that's they, they redubbed it so i thought i saw that a few times so that's why they say sons of bitches because they're allowed to get away with that don't but, they say something really dumb yeah, they say like mother humper yeah and then they say it like twice yes yeah so that they were dropping f-bombs i thought so but they okay. redubbed it to make it not rated r to make it pg-13 which is wild yeah <laughs> but now we get to see the big worm. yeah and then we're like holy so now we find shit. out that all the little worms are just it's mouth or just it's like tongue it's like a Tongues. medusa head kind of no, it's 
Medusa like mouth. Yeah, Medusa mouth. So when it opens its mouth, there's just a small. So like what was on the axle was just one of its tongues. So like I wonder, do those things eat and then it goes into the big worm, or do they just pull in and then the big worm swallows? Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how the digestion. I don't track think they works. do either. <laughs> Even the later movies, they actually get into that. I highly yeah, doubt no, it though. <laughs> I just do know that a lot of puppets, probably. Yeah. yeah all, which, which is cool, dude. I do love puppets. Dude, so then he starts shooting it. And I, I, I wrote down this down. I was like, dude, I'd be so fucking scared I if I was just on my... Like, these people are attacking you from... Or these worms are attacking you from the ground. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. I'd be like, Jesus, dude. Like, there's no real defense for that. And then they start running. Yep. And then they jump into, like, this concrete... It's a ravine. It's like a runoff, I think. Yeah, so for like water and yeah, shit. Yeah, to prevent flooding. And the worm is booking so, it. So dumb and it goes headfirst into the concrete and kills itself. Yeah, and I was like that worm died way too easily. But then my favorite part of the whole fucking movie happens in this area. Oh, is it the next scene? <laughs> no, it's when it's when it's in the oh, okay. ravine when he kills it. <laughs> And Kevin Bacon goes, fuck you. <laughs> and then he like laughs. But the way he says it is so funny. Put it here. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> and then Rhonda shows up. So is that the only fuck in the movie? I think so. I think, okay. they, I think they got way away with two of them. Like, I think like to get past the ratings. I think you get one. Oh, you get one. Maybe, so maybe it was 90s. that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the way he says it is hilarious. He just goes, fuck you. <laughs> And then this is when they're discussing and they're like, oh, these guys must be blind. Yeah. And then because I thought she says, oh, there's three of them. But then later on, it turns out there's three more. of There's them. three more of them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I thought she said there was only three of them at this point. But yeah, she goes, this is the biggest zoological discovery of the century, which I don't know what zoological means. It's exact. It's study of animals. But and shit. Kevin found the ass end of it. Which is so they're like oh. looking at the front of it, and he gets up top, and he's like, "I found the butt." Oh, I didn't remember that. Yeah, he finds yeah. the butt, <laughs> and then and then we find out there are three more of them because they're they're going to, to get her truck. Yeah, and they're talking, and then Earl almost he thinks he gets bit, but he falls into a prairie dog hole, yeah. which is another fun fact. Is in Nevada there are no prairie dogs. <laughs> oh, interesting. But it's he like freaks out. He's like, oh, oh no. shit. No, I love that too. They're like, oh, it's fine. And Little like, sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the the graph, the seismograph starts going crazy again, yeah. and it's like, oh shit, dude. So then they have to get on top of the rocks. This is my favorite part because I oh, literally yes. in all caps, we're on the rocks. Yep, we're on the I rocks. Smart, fucking love it. Smart, dude. The rocks are the best. And they spend the night on the rocks, which isn't the desert crazy cold at night it gets like crazy hot and crazy cold yeah. i thought so like temperature yeah. difference like i thought like if you're just in a jacket like you can't do a night in the desert yeah and they don't have a fire or anything no and like he gives her her ja his yeah. jacket yeah but i at this part i made a note i said these little worm fellows remind me of the moldugas from zelda sure yeah a and i go because well, they operate off of seismic shit too, but then right? i go nintendo did tremors inspire you or Dune. Because <laughs> I know it inspired me. Because I'm a cowboy now. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're wearing a Japanese hat. Well, it's because I was stationed there. <laughs> I don't know. This is like the only hat I had. What? Like n normal hat. Oh. All right. I have like 30 now. Well, you wear a lot of hats. I know. I'm bald now. I wear a lot of beanies, dude. That's true. And beanies don't fit me right now. So anymore. then they wake up and they're like trying to think of a plan. And... <laughs> They decide that Kevin Bacon has to fucking go down off the rock and he's like getting all fucking. Oh, right. Yeah. He's just like touching. He's getting he, all bitchy about it. He goes, I don't know why it always has to be me every damn time. He loses rock. What do I look like? An expert on worms? That's what he <laughs> says. <laughs> but then Kevin realizes, oh, they're blind. So they must be listening. So that's why they're still under us because they were talking all night. Which I didn't. So they're saying that their voice vibrates hard enough. That it will penetrate the ground. That it will penetrate rocks. <laughs> and then reverberate off the rocks and it can understand them. I get if they're yelling, but they were probably not yelling. They're, or asleep? Uh, yeah, sleep. Yeah, I guess they were. Hours? For hours. So we did. What, I, bet, I wouldn't be shocked if they snored really loud. Sure. But know? also, like, my thing is, like, it's looser dirt, so it would pick up way less on stuff, especially with how much that the worm has, like, And it goes deep it. down, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I hate the idea that they listen. Like, why can't it be like, oh, it hasn't sensed movement yet, so it won't move. Like, something like that. Not that it's listening oh, to yeah. us. Oh, yeah. Because it is it is all about movement. But I do like before they go to bed, 
they're or maybe it's like when they wake up i can't remember but either way they all three of them have to take a piss yep and they just like, it's just like this wide shot and they just I all think go to sleep. as they go to sleep yeah, like, like that's all, while the like lights go down then they all so go piss somewhere even go take Ronda, care of business. even Ronda takes, she goes me too yeah i'm like, like all, right. <laughs> all right i guess yeah i mean I, the worm's listening but Can then feel the piss hit the ground the, yeah maybe that's that you yeah know? sun okay. rises and we find out you need a beer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jacob's drinking his buddies. I did not realize how good a normal Budweiser Bud is. But heavy, dude. Budweiser is great. I don't know if I've ever drank, in a, drank a normal Budweiser. They're good. It is so fucking good. Yeah. It's like, like a, it's damn, in King this, of Beers, dude. Yeah. This might be the highlight for me. Like Bud Light can suck a dick. It's horrible. But like Budweiser. I'll drink Bud Light if it's free. But right, yeah, yeah, Budweiser is like, this yeah. is a real beer. I mean, dude. we'll do it for Pride Month again. Bud Light? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that's, well, I think we have to. Yeah. Every, every <laughs> it's just a dumb joke that won't get funnier as it goes. <laughs> if anything, people if anything, people, people won't get it. I think most people have forgotten already. Kid Rock has forgotten. Yeah, I think he, he probably still no, drinks. He loves Budweiser yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, he, he drinks Bud Light. But the next morning, I like how Rhonda's fucking cuddled up next to Kevin. And you're like, ooh, something's going on here. But like, not, they're not really cuddling, but she's like crooked in. But he's still like... it. They made a point to really show, like, he's like, oh, we're cuddling. Yeah, he's like, oh, shit. You yeah. Know? <laughs> God forbid. He I'd cuddle you if we're in the on a rock in the desert and we're about to die. Yeah, like, we wouldn't, like, but we'd be, like, we'd nuzzle. You know? well, there would be at least, probably back to back. Yeah. Ass to ass. Catch my fart in your butt. Yeah, I'll hold it dear. <laughs> but then they start bickering again because they're idiots while Rhonda ha- Rhonda's like, I have an idea, I have an idea. And they're just yeah. ignoring her. I do love this man's play. I I love that shtick. Yeah. When two dumb men, one smart girl, and they're arguing over their own shit. And she's just like, hey. And she's just like, all right, fuck you guys. I'm going to do it by myself. Yeah. And she grabs, luckily, one of three poles laying against the rock. <laughs> and she goes, you guys know how to pole vault? And this- then she pole vaults to the next rock beautifully. Yes. Dude, pole vaulting would be hard as hell. <laughs> I really want to try it not like a real pole vault i wanted to see if we could do just this. take a long stick and yeah yeah but i mean you're elevated so, so i guess it wouldn't be that hard well the issue is though if you pause it all which like the second guy does and he goes back you could go just to the side yeah and then you're I, fucked yeah then you're just on the but ground you, if you get enough momentum it should be fine um but kevin kevin bacon looks pretty freaked out at this point yeah. so he's like i don't know if i can <laughs> um, but kevin gets it on his first try and earl doesn't yeah but this pole vaulting scene is actually beautiful it's a really cool because they it's, do a really cool wide shot and like of just which, of the backlit like it is an actually really gorgeous scene i think this i think this scene makes the there movie. is a little bit of a goof in this scene i read on imdb Ooh. so like when she first grabs her pole there's one right next to the rocks and that's what she grabs and you notice two more yep. far away oh, okay but then when they go back to grab theirs they're in the exact same spot sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, um, sh- <laughs> be great <laughs> but no there's a scene where like all three of them are like kind of trading rocks yeah it's it's gorgeous it's like done in synchronicity yeah, or whatever no, like this is it's fucking by, awesome it's the only scene i really remembered and i i do think this scene makes the movie yeah it was it was a beautiful scene but then they're trying to like get back to the truck and they finally they pull vault onto the truck and they get in the back end and she like climbs through the window starts the truck but then she's fucking using her hands yeah to, so she can't see or steer yeah so they're all in the bed but also this, there's a moment where like the worm comes up at this point yeah and kevin bacon punches it <laughs> he does because it's one of the tongues yeah he just punches it and it works and this is while she is yeah like you know like Head? trucks have that tiny back window yeah, in so the middle her body's wedged and then she's in there down. and she's just pushing the gas pedal just forward and they're driving very well and i think at one point she yells like hey can you guys yeah, help can me someone something? help me yeah. <laughs> and then we cut back to Walter's store. Yep, Walter Chang's store. Yeah. Bert and Heather, that's her name, Reba, they're, they're still out hunting. They went hunting for these fuckers, what? which how, are badass. Also, like, how does that not work? These things are attacking anything that moves. And they're driving around in a truck. Yeah. Yeah, being These loud. people were sleeping on a rock, and then Worm was like, I'm going to get these I'm going to wait for yep, these. I'm going to figure this out. <laughs> yeah. I heard them piss. It's a small town. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's 12 other people. But uh, I guess 13, because she's not a part of the 14. Oh, yeah. That's because she's yeah. new. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Walter wants to name the worms. I wrote these down, too. He starts coming up with names. I didn't write down any of them, oh, except right. for the last one. Right, the last so the one was my favorite. First one is Suckoids. Suckoids. Pretty good. Pretty good. Second one is just Oids. <laughs> Oids. Which I think is my personal favorite. Then we got snakeoids. Snakeoids, yeah. And then the fourth one, graboids. Yep. Graboids is my favorite. I because <laughs> it's uh, so dumb. Honestly, if I the scariest thing to me would be oids. 
Just oids. Because it's not even like, it's just kind of a sound. Yeah, because what is oids. it? Oids. The oids are after you. Watch out for <laughs> the oids. Oh, yeah. This is when we find out that the worms are now coming for perfection. Yeah. Because the boys and her get back to the store. And they figured out like the idea of like, the sound stuff and it's all vibration. And, and they, look, they look at the map and they go, well, they were here, they were here, and they're all coming, and there's three more of them. And perfection, there's not many people. And, and then Melvin's a piece of shit again and scares Earl. Fuck. What's he do here? He throws a ball at him. Right. And he like screams when he does it. Yeah. So he freaks out. Cause then, and then he throws the ball back and I thought this would be a moment just like worm. Yeah. But- so he misses the ball and the ball goes bouncing. There were so many moments where I was like, Oh, this is where this is going to happen. Then and then just wasn't. nothing. Ha- the kid picks up a ball and we got Mindy still doing the Mindy's, pogo stick Mindy's in the doing back. Pogo sticking. Do you know what her number was before though? No. 640. Damn. That is an insane number. I mean, she's wearing headphones. She's focused. Yeah. That's no. why when they yell at her, she well, can't also, hear. Also, what else are you going to fucking do in it's, this She's now? the only kid. I she's not going to hang out with Melvin. Because I know pogo stick is mainly a skill. I wonder how tiresome it is. It's got to be pretty fucking. It's a little exhausting. I had a pogo stick growing up. But like, what? what's the highest you ever got? Five? I, I think I got like 20. Oh, you could. But so it's you tough. Could, but Balance like even is tough. 20 is nothing compared to I know, 600. That's a shit ton. Like, so you can like travel down a street in it, though. You got to be really good at balance and then you can move. Yeah. She's moving down the street. It, I, I and, assume and, she just goes up and down yeah, that main just road. Just freaking. Um, but then we figure out that the Graboids are at the store. Like they're, they're, they're right. at the store and then they all whisper. Now remember, no noise. No sure. vibration, and you just hear the pogo stick, and then we find out, oh shit, Mindy's making a ton of noise, but she doesn't know because she's wearing headphones and pricking that ground. Yeah, fuck. Because and then they run for her. Yeah, which, and Kevin Bacon goes after her, just tackles her off of the pogo which stick, which would scare the hell out of me. Yeah, and also I feel like that's gotta hurt. Yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. But also then, so we the graboid goes after it, and I hate that. So he tackles her off of the pogo stick, and he's like, shh. And then the thing eats the pogo stick. Well, that's where the last noise. But no, I guess it wasn't. Thump. Yeah, it's the, where they hit the yeah, ground. It's the thump. Yeah, they they, they like, should have got. No, so because my understanding, I don't like that it listens to words or whatever. My thing is, it knows where the last impact yeah, was. So like, it can hear footsteps or yeah. falling. <laughs> yeah, like what actual vibrations yeah, goes, are. And then it <laughs> eats the pogo stick and then spits it out. Like so, because it goes, I don't like metal. <laughs> yeah, but then. Fucking Rhonda gets stuck in barbed wire because she's the getting fence ch- that they built. Yeah, because she's getting chased and gets wrapped in barbed wire and like it's coming after her, and then it's pulling her in. And fucking, I'm like, I literally said this. I go, Kevin, don't be a hero. But he grabs a pickaxe, yep. and fucking runs up and <laughs> stabs the motherfucker, which would help. Badass, dude. Because I was like, that's insane. Something I did really enjoy throughout this movie is that they made the. Trem or the graboid that try to get their truck. That's the main villain. Yeah. Because they can keep seeing the torn off tongue. Yeah, because it's so slow. Which bleeding. I really like yeah. that. Which is which is a little like if you don't catch it, you don't catch it. But yeah. yeah. So like the other three are like fully fresh and then mm-hmm. this guy's fucked. But then he's like, take your pants off. <laughs> and, and she does it. She just goes immediately. When which, Kevin Bacon tells you to take your pants off, you do it. Which is a another fun fact is she didn't do this in practice. Yeah, she did it. She she only took her pants off while they were filming, so then she could get her gender interaction of having to take her pants off. Which I just think she didn't want to take her pants off. That's fair because like, then she's running around in her underwear. <laughs> Why well, they get her pants pretty quick too? Because like this scene wasn't like sexual at all either. Well, it does get sexual a little bit. Oh, does it? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, later. when they're treating her legs. Yeah, because yeah. then it cuts to them in the shop, and he's Kevin Bacon's like, healing her wounds. Dining room, and like, it's just like you see the <sighs> you see the long legs that go all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. <laughs> I mean, there's a shot of her running towards the camera, just in her underwear oh, when they're running pants? back to this. But but then she like one of the guys uh, hands her pants and new shoes. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like oh, these guys are nice. Yeah, <laughs> and then she just puts her pants back on. But I would say like this wasn't like crazy sexualized, like because there's no. Like, it was just like she's trying. There are weird moments in horror where it, it shouldn't be hot, but it, like at the end of Alien, when she oh, gets in her yeah. panties, when she, like, when, and she's wearing the fucking tight white shirt, and the god tight, damn, and like it's like, why is this the hottest thing ever? It's that that's very hot, and but I like, think they did it on purpose. But like this that's wasn't. one where it doesn't like seem like it should be. Still, and this like, was a survival yeah. technique. But I, I mean, I was like, you're cute. I, I mean, I'm not complaining. No, yeah, <laughs> I liked it. But it was like <laughs> legs all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> But then they're like talking and they're like, okay, be quiet. We got everybody safe. And then the soda machine goes off. Well, because my thing is, why are they still whispering 
but they're walking around the store. Yeah, that's, that's true. It drives me insane. They're walking, but they're like, what do you think is fucking louder? Yeah, footsteps because they vibrate through the ground. Yeah, what can I hear more? Someone walking above me or someone whispering above me? You dumb shit. I mean, like, if you live in an apartment, it's footsteps. It's, yeah, it's, it's footsteps. Steps, it's hundred percent yeah. footsteps. <laughs> it's so stupid. But yeah, but then the yeah the cooler goes off, and do you know what Kevin Bacon does in this moment? No, he jumps on it. And then starts t- yelling at people to move it. Yeah, he jumps up because he's trying to get behind it to pull but, the cord. Like, but he's laying on it. Yeah, he's so like, it's like, right, so he's adding more weight to it. <laughs> and but they did reference the soda machine earlier when they were first doing the thing because it's, it's yeah, making noise. To fix it, yeah. yeah. So if they would have fixed it, it probably mm-hmm. wouldn't have made noise. But then the graboids are coming because it's making it's making noise, and they go, "We got to get to the roof." So they're climbing on all. But the- before they get to the roof, Chang gets got. Yeah, Chang gets wormed. God damn it, got Walter. And I just put goddamn son of bitches, graboids. But they're climbing on all the shelving units, trying to climb to the roof. And this scene reminded me of an episode of Community. Floor is lava. Sure. And I go, Community, did you get inspired by Tremors? I mean, Chang. Because I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> but like, that's that's how, because they're, they're climbing all the shelf units. Yeah. But then like the... The earthworms are... Yeah. Floor is worms. So then the earthworms are popping up, knocking over shelves and shit. Oh, man. They made it to the roof, but then we find out Melvin is being a dumb fucking piece of shit, and he's in a shack. Yeah. He gets on the roof, though. Yeah, later, after they tell him. Mindy and her mom get on the roof. I do like everybody on the roof. Yeah, eventually. But then it cuts to... Reba. Reba, Reba, and Bert driving around, G- and we G- get a close down. up of their license plate. G- write it down too. Uzi for you, badass, <laughs> incredible. Uzi, they, they live in a fourteen person town, yeah. and they have and Uzis. They bought, they, well, you see the Uzis later. Oh, we see a lot of things. I think later. Earl uses it later. We see a lot of things, <laughs> but then we notice Reba's using binoculars, and she notices everybody on the roof, and she's like, "Hmm, that's weird." So they go to their basement. <laughs> Yeah, and Bert starts yelling into the fucking radio, and he's got his feet fucking propped up, yep. and he cracks a beer, and he's just like, where are you guys? Yeah, Bert's good to go. He he's The thing is, that they prepped for this their entire life, and they handle it, I guess not horribly, but- They handle it pretty good, dude. But then fucking Reba starts this machine. I don't even know what it is. It's a. It's like it's polishing bullets or something. Yeah, because it's a bunch of bullets and sand, and it rattles. And yeah, shakes it looks them. like a like a rock spinner or something like. And like we, I've used them in like like welding stuff, like to like clean stuff. But like I don't but know it, why for bullets because you've already that's live ammunition. Yeah, you've bought the bullets. Yeah, that's already. So like they should be good to go. I think. But that vibration. The worms can hear it, and I I wrote this down. I go, they're coming for you, Reba. <laughs> a little close to they're coming for you, Barbara. That's what I was trying to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but or, they both grab their guns and get ready. Or they're coming for us, which I think is poltergeist. Oh, they're coming for us. Isn't that what she says? I don't know. Poltergeist Fuck, scares what me. What did she say? I, I haven't seen that since I was a kid. Like the OG? Yeah. Ugh. Well, yeah, we're not going to talk about like what the 2016 one. God, the first poltergeist is scary as hell. Mm-hmm. Third one's pretty good, too. Really? I think so. Okay. But not the second one? I don't remember. I think I've just seen the first and the third one. And then the little girl dies in real life. Oh. Yeah, you know that? No. Yeah. Like while they were filming? Um, I don't know. I guess I don't know exactly when she dies either. But yeah, no, the little girl's dead in real life and she's still a little girl. Ugh. Yeah. So the, the devil got her. That's something that people put with like the like weird like Illuminati like pedophile shit is that they think that's what happened to her. Yikes. At least you didn't get eaten by worms. <laughs> but then the worms are coming for Bert and Reba. And they fucking bust. It busts through their wall. Which killed the first worm. But this one is unfazed. Unfazed. Until. And then they're firing fucking guns at yeah, it. Yeah, because they're just firing the guns they're holding at which first. Which are just normal rifles. like They're giant rifles. Yeah. But then it cuts to this shot where the camera pans with them. And they have a, a whole wall. wall of guns. Just random Dude, guns. I was like... Holy shit. Yeah, it's like pretty incredible. Every And there was two of each because yep. they're a couple. Yeah. Uh, and they are the strongest couple maybe in cinema. Dude, it was, I was so into like, it. They're, I bet their sex life is incredible. Yeah. And I bet they're into some kinky whip yeah. shit. And I bet they're like, well, we're not going to have kids because like we don't want to raise a child in society. So I bet he is snipped and they are yeah, good to go. Yeah, and they're raw dogging it yeah. like crazy. All and, the time. And Reba's fucking, she ain't a single mom in this movie. Mm, <laughs> she is a married woman. And she's satisfied as hell, dude. Bert's worm is all she needs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, like, they keep, whole wall of guns. Like literally 
10 feet of guns at, at least. least yeah just and then they keep grabbing guns fire until it empties and they grab another gun because well, yeah, you're not well i think at one point she yells like for a clip and he a tosses magazine. it over yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they got fucking machine guns and yep. they're <laughs> Like, it's like good to go, but like, that's, and they're just shooting this fucking worm in the mouth. It's not like there's like cops in this town. Like, yeah, what are they prepping for? I don't get that. But then the fucking worm. Yeah, I don't know what they're prepping for. All I would want is like two really good guns and a lot of ammo. I'm not gonna. If something happens, I guess if you're staying put. But either way, but I would we find out later like they have like fucking food and water. Yeah, and, and he lists like a bunch he of is, shit because he's pissed. He's pissed yeah. that they left. <laughs> but then the worm gets burnt. And I'm like, oh fuck! Like he gets him by the leg. Yeah, because I didn't. It, I would believe that he dies. Yeah, because like, I don't know this movie well. I, I was like, oh fuck! I mean, I saw this movie a long time ago, right, yeah. and I loved it. <clears throat> but it was like also like a background movie. Yes, because it's a good background movie. It's, yeah, because it doesn't matter. But it's no, fun. there's no. And we were talking about this earlier. There's no other plots. The only like no, it's just one plot. <laughs> the only like overall theme, and it gets mentioned in the background, is that Kevin Bacon's character is bad at like planning ahead. Like that, he, that gets said a lot throughout the but film. But that doesn't by Earl. really. Well, at the very end, he has a plan, but it's only for the next two minutes. Like it's not. Yeah, that's. But it's like it doesn't. Yeah, there's no B plot or, or sub characters or, or overall theme. I guess it does. You know, follow Reba and Reba and Bert's probably the subplot. I but guess. Then they cut, but then they're a part of the group. So yeah. It, it, but then Reba fucking grabs a shoddy off the wall and just boom. Blast one of the tongues because that's what got Bert. Yeah, and it just splatters it and just he, shows how great America dude, is. It's so fucking bad. It's and I love that in this scene. It's they, they're firing with rifles. Yep. They're firing with machine guns. There's a there's a shot where Reba just has two handguns yep. and she's she bam, bam 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 bam. I'm like, God damn, Reba. Yeah, she looks great. Country music star. I also love that they do this in this scene that they do in so many movies is. It's a character getting shot with a flare gun. As if that Yeah, Reba means, shoots it with a flare gun. As if that, that means anything. Because a flare just puts out but a fire. Well, maybe. yeah, it would burn the but also like a bullet. A bullet would do a, a lot, lot more, more. A lot more than a flare gun. But like there's so many fucking movies where something gets shot with a flare gun for some reason. But they go through the whole wall of guns. Yeah. Like they waste. I mean they have it. And then they get, get to, to this the glass side. case yeah, and Bert fucking gun. burst open this glass case and pulls out this giant double barreled shotgun. It's an elephant gun. It's an elephant. I didn't know what it was. That's an actual it. thing. Okay. But it's massive. And he kills him, shoots him right in the mouth of the elephant gun. But the, this gun is like four feet. Yeah. Why didn't they start with that? It's yeah. a giant fucking worm. You're trying to just survive. But then after it kills it, Bert goes, Broke into the rock, goddamn, how, <laughs> goddamn rec room, didn't you, you bastard? bastard. Yep. <laughs> yeah, dude, Bert. I Bert's my favorite character. Yeah, dude, Bert no, and Reba. Yeah, no, like they I wish the, they were the main characters. They are the best. I mean, I do love uh, Vic and Earl. Yeah, I'm, Val, Val and Earl. But man, no, Reba. Reba dude, and, if what's they, her Heather? Heather? Yeah, Heather and Bert. If they were to just, if they discovered them. They would have taken care of them. Problem. Yeah. No, they wouldn't even tell the rest of the town. No, they'd be like, "We're fine. <laughs> we killed it. It's We're fine. fine. Moving but on." But then there's two left now. And then this is I wrote down my next quote: two more mother humpers." So I think this is when they said <laughs> okay. "motherfuckers," but they dubbed it to "mother humpers." I because I, I was watching the mouth; it seemed off. Because yeah. "fuck" and "hump" are I different mouths. I didn't mouth. notice it, but I was like, "That's a weird thing to say." And but now, he if says I rewatch it, it again, yeah. yeah. And then there's another time later in the movie where. He, he goes, fly, sucker, but it's oh, fucker. Sure, sure. You know? So then there's two left, and there are two have them surrounded. So one is at Bert and Heather's house, and the other one is watching them at Chang's. Yes. And it's like, fuck, dude. What? And then it starts picking up the store. Like, it's it's getting under the foundation and, like, it's shaking everything. And it's like, Jesus, that's terrifying, dude. All right, so I don't know what this note's about, but I have written down is there's this weird cut where they show every person on the roof yeah. and on the other roofs of them, like, I think being happy. And it's the weirdest fucking shot because everyone's just like, all right, be happy We're or safe. be excited. And it's just a straight shot of like the mom and Mindy and then fucking Melvin. And it's the dumbest thing. I do like how the mom and Mindy are just across yeah. the street yeah. and they kind of just exist. Yep. And, but everyone else is freaking out and they're just like they're holding each other yeah, just like, like I mean hey. you're being quiet you're the, you're in the safest position right, yeah. out of everybody else yelling yeah <laughs> cuz they're yelling cuz most of the people are on Chang's but then Rhonda's on top of the water tower and Melvin's on top of a dumb right, shack Rhonda did get on the water, water tower at this point yeah so then they're they're yelling at each other which is so dumb but then uh Nestor 
who was a piece of shit. You, who even was he before that? Oh, right. He was the weird guy. Yeah, he was just another guy in the town, dude. Yeah. Uh, but he's on the ground, and he's like in his mobile home. Yep. And then the fucking worms tip over the mobile home, and uh, bye-bye Nestor. Nestor gets got. So now we're down to fucking single-ditch population in this town. All right, wait. So we started with 14. Yep. We'll say that the one guy who was in the electrical thing, Edgar. Edgar. Yep, so now dead. we're down to 13. Then we got the two couples. 11. Or the two couple, or the couple of two. Yep. <laughs> so down to 11. And then Fred. Yep. So down to 10. So yeah, now we're down to nine after Nestor gets after got. Nestor, nine. Yep. Damn. Which would make sense because it's Reba and Heather. Or <laughs> Heather and Bert. Yep. The two dudes. So that's four. Four. And then Mindy and her mom. Oh, wait. We also lost Chang. And we also lost Chang, but then we got. We, yeah. And All then, right. Wait, so sorry. All right. Reba, husband. Two guys. Ch- oh, wait, no. So Chang's dead. So now we got Mindy and Mom. Melvin. Melvin. And then we got Eugene. Is that his name? I have like no the, the Spanish dude? Miguel. Miguel. Yeah, so that's eight. And then, yeah, is that it? I think that's it. So there's eight left. Eight uh, people left. So was six Nest- of the town. Was Nestor Melvin's dad? I, maybe, because he does seem kind of similar. Yeah, like I they both seem have like- no idea <laughs> what who Melvin is. <laughs> they both seem dumb. Oh, and then Miguel. Oh, yeah. 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 Because I don't think we counted him on the last time. So, yeah, down to nine. I Maybe. think eight. Yeah. Eight or nine. Eight or I don't nine. know. <laughs> Numbers are hard. We did a bad job counting. But Bert and Heather are saying, they're like, okay, they talk over the radio and they're like, okay, get in your truck and get the fuck out of here. But then, obviously, how do the worms know this? Yeah, these worms are annoyingly smart. They just, they adapt. Like, well, this isn't, we're not fighting alien. No. Alien well, adapts to you. Maybe they're alien. They kind of talk about that one point of like, what are they? But also they But never, also like, the little thing that comes out of alien's mouth kind of looks like this. That's true. So this is like the alien of the dirt? Maybe. Well, maybe it just chest burst out of a worm. Oh, Jesus. And then for some reason it grew really big. And then it went to Nevada, mm-hmm. of all places. <laughs> Go to a big city, you fuckers. What, a worm in yes. a big city? You can't do that. There's a subway system. Oh, yeah, that's true. You got to have dirt. You got to have dirt. But then the worms go after his trick truck, Bert's truck, and gets it. <laughs> and Kevin Bacon's freaking out. He goes, we need a helicopter is what we need or a goddamn tank. Well, too fucking bad. <laughs> you can't get those things. You, you maybe have another horse somewhere. I and don't then, know. And then they go, ooh, the cat, which is their Rob. bulldozer. That's what they call their bulldozer, the cat. Right. I remember this. Yeah. So then it's like, oh, we got a plan. Also, I don't know where this is, but I wrote down my next note is we get an underground worm POV. Yeah, which is dirt. I love it. <laughs> I just, loved that shot. But they would do it once. Yep. <laughs> it just shows how aggressively the worms go. Like, <laughs> just dirt. So then they come up with a distraction plan so Kevin Bacon can go run and get the cat because the cat, of course, is far away. Yes. And by far away, maybe like two blocks. But still a ways to go on foot when these things are underground and can hear you. It's terrifying. Yes. Because <laughs> then their distraction plan is to send a lawnmower out. Yeah, which is hilarious. Not a bad plan That's either, It's actually a great plan because yeah. he ties the steering wheel so it goes straight. Yep. Which and is awesome. It just keeps going forward. And the are chasing it. Until it just breaks down. But at this point, Kevin Bacon's running the other direction. Yes, and, and they then, hear him. And then the thing breaks down, but they don't even like attack it because they just know it's not it. Yeah, which so, is, but it doesn't break down. It so it like is going, and then it goes up a hill and tips over. Oh, it tips over. But okay. the engine would still be going, and so it would still be shaking. It would still be making a lot and of noise. Still be so a wheel like, digging in. Yeah. But also, if they would attack it, the lawnmower would have cut him up. You would think so? But, but also, it didn't. And then it was just like, oh, Kevin Bacon does it somehow a, a quick, quick one eighty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and goes for Kevin Bacon. And this is the this one made me so mad. Is they yell for Kevin Bacon to stop running. So he stops. So he freezes. And then the worm can't find him. <laughs> no, like it's dude, but but think about that though. That'd be scary as hell if you were standing there. Because he has there are two of them on him, right? Mm-hmm. And he's just standing there and like or, they st- I think it, I think they no, were No, I think the other one's still at their okay, place. Okay, but yeah, yeah, he was like fucking so right there, him, dude. Yeah. And like uh his little tongues were sticking out. I think like, it pops up. Yeah. And, it's it's just and then his of, tongue oh, is like oh, reaching oh, and he's oh, lifting oh. up his foot and the right. tongue's going right under his foot. As if it couldn't fucking feel that when he's like puts his foot back down and lifts it back up. Like, no, that God, is a shift in weight 
in the dirt that it senses. What are what are the rules for this monster? What are the rules? Well, apparently, when his when the worm monster's friends die, they learn to not die yeah, they that inherit way. Their yeah. knowledge, <laughs> they learn yeah. how they die. But then everybody's like, "We got to make noise!" So then they start screaming and shit, which it was smart. Yeah, monsters throw something on the ground. Yeah, because they do that later. But then. Rhonda's like, oh, I have an idea. And she breaks open the water heater or water supply. So then water's splooshing everywhere. Which that's a great idea. Except for then she stays on the, not even on the water tower, on the fucking on the ladder. ladder. She's hanging out there just hoping that the worm shows up until it fucking does. Well, here's what I was thinking. And they don't, they didn't do this, but I was like, man, that's a good idea. Until, because there's a shot of it and it's like so wet. Yeah. I was like, oh, then the ground's going to, and then the thing's going to fall over. Oh, the ground's getting sure. so. I'm like, but they, it didn't happen. No. But I'm like, that's what would <laughs> like, happen. You'd be mm, fucked, maybe. Maybe. I, I, Depends think they on put how, them, I think you have to put a, Water tower like on a concrete oh, base or like something. Super, but but it I was would like, assume so. But that's smart because it distracted the worm, and then Kevin Bacon gets Until to the, the cat. thing fucking starts attacking the tower. It, it, I mean, it shows it in the water. It shook but it a little bit, didn't it? Because it? it got the ladder as soon as she yeah, she jumps right. off the ladder and is safe, but it pulls down the ladder. Yeah, it just drove me crazy that she stayed on the water. Like, no, run now because a constant feed on the ground and the ground shifting, you think, would cause much more distraction for the worm from just running. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because he's able to run while that's going on. Yes. And they're closer to him. Yeah. But no, she climbs back up. But he gets to the uh, to the cat and he he hooks up the freaking trailer that has bad wheels. Yeah, but and doesn't matter. He, he's just dragging and it. And here he comes to save the day, dude. Everyone hops in. The worms like try to push at it, but then they stop for some because reason. It's like, because it weighs three tons. <sighs> They lift it's able it up, to, yeah, it's able lift to, it up to, a supermarket. And it's able to pull a car down. Yeah, like you could also just like tear up the main wheel. Like it, <laughs> it get the rules for this monster drove me crazy throughout this but film. But it cuts to while Kevin Bacon is saving those <laughs> people, it cuts to Bert and Reba making pipe bombs. They incredible. One thousand percent could have what like taken care of all these worms themselves. Yeah. If they were left to because like you think, why aren't they just tossing one? It explodes, the worm will go there. Toss another, like, and I think, I assume that was their plan because they're badasses. Dude, yeah, they're cutting fucking PVC pipes off their house yeah. and using it to make No, they bombs. should not have picked up Reba and Bert. Like, they had it covered. It was incredible. I was like, dude, it's insane. So now Kevin's on their way to, to get them. <laughs> and they all get in the cat they jump no issue yeah and then fucking melvin wants a gun the whiny ass teenager bitch and he gets a gun too well bert goes i wouldn't give you a gun even if it was world war three because he doesn't give him a gun <laughs> well, initially which he referenced world war three earlier in the a movie ton. too yeah i think it's like is that is that like world war three was like the fear in the 90s um maybe well we're post cold i guess i don't even know who was the enemy then I don't know. So I feel like that was pre when everyone got terrified of China because that was like in the 2000s but when it was like angry at China for some reason. But then Bert's saying goodbye to all of his resources. Which, no, the they should have just all stayed there and killed two worms. Yeah, because there's only two left and they were able to get one easily from their house. Well, but they, they did just use a lot shot of, it. They did use a lot of ammo. Well, because they didn't start with the elephant because they have the elephant yeah, gun on the them at all times. Also, he has a shit ton of ammunition so for it. Much, yeah. dude. So then they're driving because they're trying to get to the mountains because rocks. Duh. I, yeah, because yeah, the worms won't be able to get but up. But then the, the worms, mountain. again, learn and adapt and make a trap. But I will say, this whole drive up, everything was super nice. Super it nice. It was like a nice shot. They were all like hanging out and having it's like, fun. And it's like, oh, this is fun, dude. Because yeah. they're, they're, these people are all friends except for Rhonda. Yep. You know, Rhonda's new. But also, like, I I love in these films, nobody gives a shit about Chang or uh, what was the other guy? Nels. Nestor. Nestor, yeah. 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 They're just like, oh, well, we're alive. Yeah, move forward. Yeah. Don't, don't well, bother. In that situation, you don't have time to fucking remorse. I think this is the time. Yeah, this is the time where you're just, like, when you think you're good. When you think you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> but then the worms make a trap. Yep. And the fucking cat gets stuck. And it's they, like, like shit. dig out. And yeah, then so then so the, the cat just drives right into it. But it's like, how do you not notice that? Because you're driving really slow. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but I guess like... They're underground. They're underground. I don't, I don't know. know how it works. What are the rules? But then, <laughs> first, here comes the first pipe bomb. And Bert goes, hungry? Eat this. And he throws <laughs> a pipe bomb. An American which hero. Is fucking badass. And it was a big explosion. Yeah. <laughs> That's one hell of... They built good bombs. But they're coming back. And now they're all on ground running for the rocks, which is like, God damn. And this is when um, Bert hands Melvin a gun. Because yep. he's like, this will get you to fucking run. Yeah. But then 
when Melvin uses the gun, it's fucking empty. not loaded. Yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> well, you don't want to give a teenager a gun. Yes, you do. In this scenario, <laughs> yeah, everyone gets a gun. Yeah, that's true. But he gave him a gun with no bullets. Yeah. Which is hilarious because he tries shooting and it's like, son of a son bitch. Of a bitch. <laughs> but they made it to the rocks and I go, now what? They're stuck. Back on the rocks, baby. Because they don't have poles this time. Nope. They can't they ain't gonna pull vault out of this situation. Yeah. But now Bert is getting fucking pissed off because he's right. like, what the hell did you get me into? But also, so let's talk about like the, because are these, this, these are probably different rocks, right? Yeah, these are different because they, they were going towards the mountains. Yeah. My whole thing with the pole vault too is there are, so if you're pole vaulting between rock to rock, how much ground is between those rocks? Not much if you're pole vaulting. Four feet. Yeah. You could easily run that fast. Yes, yeah. Before <laughs> I worm can. But I guess maybe. Some rocks might be tall enough that you might not be able to climb them. That's fair. Yeah, you know? like scampering up would be hard. Yeah, and then it could fucking come at come at you. But they're stuck on the rocks in the fucking desert heat. And I'm just like, God damn. What the-. And then they go, well, it's time to go fishing, boys. Yep. Which I think this is the smartest plan. And I, th- Dude, this is going back to Nintendo. Yeah. This is exactly how I fight the Modugas in Zelda. Is I'll okay. throw like a fucking bomb or a rock sure. to attract it. Yeah. And then when it comes out to attack, then I fucking attack yeah, it. So what they do is they tie, I think they throw some stuff. They throw a bunch of rocks. And then they throw a bomb tied to a rope. And then they kind of pull the rope in. So then when it comes out to attack, it swallows it and blows it and up. And then they just let the string out. And then it rains just viscera. Orange guts. It's incredible. It's disgusting. But dude, then there's only one left. And it's like, oh, easy peasy, dude. Do the same fucking thing. Which would work. Yeah, it would. <laughs> but apparently this worm learned how to perform an airstrike where it yeah, eats the bomb it it. and spits it back at them. It back at them, dude. And it lands, of course, in the bag of bombs already made. But Earl and Kevin Bacon start fighting because they go, this one ain't dumb. Yep. This bastard. Well, this- ain't. And then Kevin's like, this bastard ain't smarter than us. Yeah. <laughs> it might... It- Definitely is. It's a more adaptive than you. Yeah. Oh, but, and I did write down we have nine survivors out of the fourteen. Okay, so there's eight nine out of fourteen. Eight out of fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because plus, yeah. Uh, Rhonda. Fuck, dude. Okay. So now, with the bomb, they all get off the, or some of them get off the rocks, which I get it because you don't want to die from. Explosion. I think it was also where Bert like yells at him of like I had all this shit at the house. Yeah. What the fuck? Where, like Bert and Reba could have. Yeah, he's <laughs> taking care of this. I would have been like, no, you guys go get help and we'll stay here. Or like, yeah, can like two of you hang out here and help me kill these? Yeah, because he had four people on like a gun. And- or all of them just in that basement again with the guns. But there wouldn't be a concrete wall and there'd just be a hole. Mm, there's three others. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You could set traps and stuff. Um, but then they're on the ground because they ran away from the explosions and they can hear them on the ground. But they're like acting frozen. Yeah. And Kevin Bacon fucking wants to be a hero again. Well, th- I think this is like the whole like lead up to the film is he finally has a plan. Yeah, he has a plan. But it's like, what is it? It's not. <laughs> it's not really. a plan. It's not really a plan. So he takes the last bomb and yeah, because he's out there and everyone's like, throw the fucking bomb. And he's like, <laughs> no, I have an idea. <laughs> but then he starts running. And why the fuck do Earl and Rhonda follow? him? I do not know. Oh, wait, because she is the lighter. Oh, yeah. Be- but why does Earl follow him? <laughs> Because he's his buddy? Because he's got nothing else going on. But I was like, dude, let him do it alone. Yeah. Throw him the lighter and get the fuck out of there. He's going to he's sacrificing himself, basically. I also like just when the bomb lands in the other bombs and you see everyone run out. There's like the three of them just run out into the middle of the dirt. The middle of the and dirt. everyone else like runs to everyone something else. Everyone else is safe. on a different rock. Yeah, they, they all went like the best way. <laughs> but then this worm is coming high speed at them. They run to an edge of a cliff and they're like, fuck, we're cornered. But also you say high speed. This is the slowest a worm has moved this entire Yeah, that's true. We don't, we don't see the POV of the dirt this time. But like also like, no, it would be there by now. Like it, <laughs> it, it went house to house pretty fucking quick. But then he fucking... Approaches come, a cliff. It, it, it's, the worm is coming super quick, and then they dive out of the way, and the worm's going so fast. And he drops a bomb where he was. Where he was, so then it blows up the worm, and the worm shoots through the dirt <laughs> and goes flying, and then lands in rocks and kills itself. Yeah. So basically the same way the first one died, kind of. Kind of. But then it goes not, flying. Instead of hitting a wall, it hits nothing. And Kevin Bacon yells, can you fly, sucker? I'm pretty sure he's supposed to, he's pretty sure he says, can you fly fucker? Which I think later on they can. So maybe that's oh, where they it's a adapt. reference. Uh, but it literally, fa- and then this is the reference to the stampede. Full circle, yep, baby. I know. But when I was like, did that really need don't, to, did that really need to be brought back up? Yeah, like, is like, that, we don't, that important? Like, I was like, oh, you said it? 
what do I know that from? Right. Like I didn't quite, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like I didn't quite, but they killed it. They killed all four of them. Yeah. So this is my issue at this moment. Why were they so sure that there was four of them? Like, they're all like, we did it. We're done. Like, maybe like she just didn't read the, gra- or maybe one well, was she was reading the graph and it was maybe going one up. wasn't moving at that time. Yeah, that's or true. like there was two, one following But also following you're, you're making all this noise and explosion. What if there's others nearby that come? Right. Yeah. Like that's they, like how they're like, we're good. We did it. There's only four. Dude. Yeah. Of of this species yeah, yeah and they just happen to be in the small town and then of course at the end of the movie they're talking about how they can make money off of yep. this because they're broke as fuck i also have the note written nobody is grieving <laughs> yeah nobody they're having they're having a great time and this is when kevin you start to realize oh kevin actually does like Rhonda. i get, yeah sure and after, they after all they went through but it's he, not a good kiss he, either before the kiss dude yeah. he crumples up all the photos of the blondes right, yeah. and throws them and he's like but then like he's so bad at flirting like they're standing there and she's like saying goodbye yeah it's and he's not great. like he's just like yep and i go that's almost worse than me dude <laughs> like you're just like not doing anything yeah you're just he there got so nervous and then he goes this is a quote he goes i mean what's a woman like her want, want with a guy like me she's going for her damn phd <laughs> <laughs> Which- and i literally went Truer words have never been said. Yeah, like, no, she's not sticking around. <laughs> but then he runs up and he goes, Rhonda, and then just doesn't say anything and kisses her. Which I think is fine. Which That's I get. Fair. And then it goes credits. And then we get fucking Reba. Reba is on <laughs> the Great soundtrack. Music. Great fucking music. Reba is on the soundtrack, which is so fucking fun, dude. I did, I did read that initially they didn't have the kiss. Oh. And then they did screeners of the movie and everybody wanted them to kiss at the end. Okay. That's so then it. they added it and it's like, okay, yeah. Because watching it, I assume they at least kiss once yeah, and that's fine. But can you imagine if it just ended? <laughs> and they're like, all right. Play like, no, let's see a kid. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> something. Let's see a happy ending. You lost right. fucking half your Give town. Give us something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you lost half your population. Now we need you two to pop out some babies. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we know Reba. Refill the Reba ain't doing it. <laughs> no. But man, what a badass movie, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I, Loved it. Uh, Simple, short, and fun. Yeah, that's fair. Because I, I it, it was only a runtime an hour and 36, and I thought, great, perfect amount of time. Yep. Like, it was fun. It was easy. It wasn't like, oh, it's too long. The right, scenes were that short. That would suck if it was too long. The scenes were short. And what was, and the cast was small. Yeah. So I feel like this would be a pretty Very easy contained. Thing. And everything was in like one location to film. That's fair. Uh, there were only five songs in the soundtrack. Okay. Which is wild. And the outro song was performed by Reba. Yep. And only two people were credited for designing and creating the creature. Interesting. Only two people. I wonder how big it actually was because it had to be big for some shots. Yeah, for some shots because yeah. it has. It's like the massive thing, and it's yeah. it's so cool. Dude. Interesting. And then I got a bunch of fun facts. All right. Um. So we already mentioned that the little girl Mindy is from Jurassic Park. Yeah. Which is wild to me. Um. So the girl who plays Rhonda, her name is Finn Carter. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> in 2019. She was arrested oh. for using stolen credit cards and grand larceny, <laughs> which means that she stole property worth over 650 bucks because it happened in Nevada. So she must have went to Nevada and stayed. Huh. And I but that's not very PhD of you, Ronda. Uh-uh. <laughs> I see what you'd like with a guy like him. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should stick with him. Uh, Tremors was up for five nominees. I saw that. But didn't win any. Not surprised. What a damn shame. <laughs> and then apparently Kevin Bacon resented. <laughs> did not like it Resented doing Tremors for a long time. He but, called it his, like, I think his professional low. But he's come around to it. Good. And he said it was the single most fun he has ever had making a movie. Which, how, how does that happen? I mean, this would be fun. I guess. But why is it the most fun? But he literally hated it. Because he was going through a... The only reason he did this is because he was broke and going through a divorce and had no money. Well, That's why he signed up for this. And was he, he was, going through a divorce? I thought he was like having a kid or something. Some, yeah, he just needed money or something. Yeah. But he said it was one of the lowest parts of his life. And oh, that's why... He did it? And that, but so that, How that, fun could it have but, been? No, but that's why he hated it because it was just in that pocket of time. Yeah. Um, but what's another wild thing is there were only two interior shots the entire film. Inside Chang's and then, and then the basement the of Reba's. Basement, yeah. The rest of the film was filmed outside. That's pretty smart. That's wild. That's that is that's, interesting. That just saves a ton of fucking time and and, yeah. and can't even bother with. I'm lighting. sure the fucking filming and shit was pretty easy. Well, I mean, the acting was 
so fine. Yeah. So like I assume not a lot of takes. But then it's rated a PG-13 because they took swearing out. <laughs> what? Yeah, not bad. All right. Well, stay tuned for Izzy's Insights. Yes, let's go. Hi. And we're back with Izzy's Insights and in true Tremors fashion, we're smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Cigarettes are so nasty. <laughs> yeah. No, they're horrible. They're I don't, so gross. That's why we don't inhale them. We don't actually smoke them. Yeah, but I like the head high. Yeah, I, I, you get high all the time. The head high No, is but different. the tobacco sure. head high. I smoked a cigar over the weekend while Russ was grilling and I was smoking a cigar. Like, And it was raining, dude. It was, I was like, this is awesome. Um, but... Izzy's Insights, Movie Tremors, our third moist movie of the month. What did you think? What are your thoughts? What was the second one? We, in Search of Dr. Seuss. <laughs> yeah, this one was better. For yeah, sure better. We're not comparing them. <laughs> no, we are. We are. This so, one was way better. Um, this was actually a movie, though, so I think that's maybe not fair. Yeah, um, instead of a kid's documentary. I, <laughs> yeah. I've heard a lot about this movie, like, growing up. <laughs> oh, you, really? You had never seen it? I hadn't ever seen it. Oh, wow. First timer. Um first timer but i thought it was good um i liked the monster in it a lot so i yeah, thought that a, was nice what'd you say it's a creature f- feature yeah creature feature. creature feature i like oh, that's that a term oh is it yes i did not come up with creature feature oh i but i'm not i'm not big into monster films so you're not I, big into horror but like, what this did is, you think did you think it was spooky no okay not this, is a, this is a b-grade action horror comedy like even on imdb it says horror comedy i would say much yeah. more action than horror in that yeah it's, it wasn't scary the at only, all. like the, it was just like oh there's an issue that we need to the solve only freaky parts and it happened twice at the beginning is when it shows the two it shows the guy on the post dead yeah and then when he removes the hat it shows <laughs> the dead <laughs> face that yeah. was that was a little spooky yeah that, that was, one got that me was for a it and i watched this movie this morning it's like 10 a.m i was drinking my coffee and i was like whoa but I had seen this movie before like three or four times. <laughs> you watched so. it this morning. Yeah, hundred. That's how I started my day. And yep. It was awesome. Was some tremor. I guess what we watched it last night, two nights ago. Two nights ago. So, but overall, you liked it. I did. Yeah. What did you like about it? Um, I liked. Well, I can tell you what I didn't like about it. Okay. Their female character was fine, but Rhonda. Yeah, Rhonda. but like. I thought she was hella cute. Um, I didn't say that she wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you said she wasn't fine. <laughs> okay, no. Um, like, very two-dimensional female characters, which is very it's, standard it's of movies the at the time. Did any character have any dimension, No, but that's, I, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, even Reba was <laughs> I just... was going to say, but, like, there wasn't a lot of character <laughs> There wasn't in a movie. lot of anything. I think yeah. that's why the um, two, like, bunkers, what are they called? Val like, and Earl? Yeah. Oh, well, you, no, you mean the preppers. The preppers, Reba yeah. and Bert? They were yeah, by Reba far and... my favorite. Yeah, and not only because it was them. Reba, but, but because... But also, like, there was no character development. No. There was he came no. up with a plan. Like he kissed her at the end because <laughs> she didn't she didn't fit his um list. I don't she know if you remember that. 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 She had legs that went all but the way up. But not the long blonde hair. No. Or the know? or the giant boobs or the no, acid doesn't it was, quit. Oh shit, well like world grade breasts. World grade yeah. breasts, acid doesn't quit. Her, and also like her, her butt was decent. I didn't really actually notice. She her, was wearing baggy jeans, dude. Yeah, it's not like breasts or boobs. Yeah. And she was, she was wearing like a, like a, uh, she was, she's a scientist. You know? I she appreciated wasn't wearing, that like, though, that she wasn't wearing like something ridiculously slutty. Sure. Like, oh, I'm in the desert. So of sure. course, yeah, she you takes know. your pants off. Well, yeah, that's true. The one, and I, I did, I think I mentioned that while we were watching it. Yeah. I was like, this was unnecessary. Sure. Yeah, but it's, yeah. It was survival. It wasn't supposed to be sexy. Yeah. Like so. the idea of being caught in barbed wire. Like I didn't think it was horrible. No. Um, yeah, it was, it was a fine movie. Um, I don't think I would say it was one of my favorite movies. Would but you like, watch I'm it? not mad that I watched it. Would you watch it again? Maybe eventually. Maybe. I So you guys have the four pack. I have the four pack. Are you watching all four of them? Not not four. for this, but I'm gonna go through them all. Okay, so at least the first four. Maybe I will too, and then we'll talk about them. Awesome. On the podcast. Yeah, we'll talk about it on the main feed. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we talk about movies all the time. No, I thought I thought it was good. What though. were your favorite parts? Do you have any? Um, <laughs> the preppers. Yeah, were yep. my favorite part. Just Reba. Um, when, when he, they just had that wall, yeah, of, guns, wall of guns, and then he ran out, and he just got to turn around and grab another one off. I was like, oh, this is the moment they've been waiting for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he breaks the glass and pulls out the yeah. elephant gun that's yeah. fucking massive. Yeah. Um, that was really funny. 
I thought the pole vaulting was really funny, but I thought it would have been funnier if one of them just would have gone sideways. Sure. You yeah. know, then they would have been like, fucked. Don't move. Also, just when they kind of decided halfway through the movie that the you rules. could just stop moving, and then they were like, "Oh, they can't sense us." That was kind of bullshit. <laughs> or when he tackles her off the pogo stick, so two humans hit the <laughs> ground, but instead they go for the pogo stick. Yeah. No, the rules really pissed me off. Yeah, it, it definitely wasn't like consistent. Yeah, but it's it, not like a. But it was like you fun. said, it wasn't a grade A movie. But it was fun. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a B grade. It, but it's not hard when you make a monster movie to come up with a list of rules. I knew Jay was going to rip this movie apart. It's not it. ripping. I enjoyed the movie. I'm just. I saying, liked the monster. The monster was fine. It's the rules. Also, like, monsters should have rules that you can follow, especially for the first fucking movie. And <laughs> they did not yeah. make sense that it hears sounds instead of little just footstep vibrations. So they're walking around a room but they're whispering so the monster can't hear them yeah so stupid. that was funny i, I did read funny. i did read when they were first coming up with the idea for the monster they originally had like the idea of like the shell that it has but then like another sub monster comes out of it instead uh-huh. of instead of being smaller tongues oh. but okay everybody was like that is too similar to a penis Sure, <laughs> and they were like, so they changed it to multiple tongues. Well, it's still it very been, phallic. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I mean, what it's to a tell worm, you. but it was less phallic than a worm. Yeah. Kind of also, I will say when the worm gets like shot out the cliff, the worm was a lot shorter yeah. than I expected. Yeah. It was a little baby. Well, well, it's because they needed it was a certified oh, chode. Oh, they needed a full one to show on that one. I know, and I wonder like how big their monster budget was because you didn't see it very often. No, and no. They, it was mostly well. That's nice about doing a monster film where you only see the mouth. Yeah, you don't need a big monster. And a lot of the shots is just a POV or fucking the yeah. ground lifting up. I was going to say, how do you think they, how'd they do that? The POV? No, the ground lifting up. I don't know. Because they, they also like, did so that. Pro- I would guess it's a miniaturized set. Oh, oh yeah. With tarp, with a tarp or something. Yeah. That's smart. But then they also do that when they're on the roof, you know, when the roof's collapsing and it's all wobbly. It looks like the ground looks really rubbery in that Yeah, scene. it does. Yeah, yeah. it does. But, but that's still cool. Mm-hmm. I do like how that, like these guys like survive. None of these places have any foundation. Yeah. No, but I do like how they survived, but their town is destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, I mean, it was like 13 of them to begin with or 14, something like that. And then Sorry. eight survived, I yes. think. Wow. But, but they kiss at the end, so the population's going up. Mm. Is She's not sticking around. Yeah, I don't think he is either. I don't know. Maybe he fell in love with perfection again. Saw it in a new light. Oh, yeah, he was supposed to go to Bixby. Well, maybe that's not, why he's not in the second one. Maybe <laughs> he's not in the second one. No, he's not Kevin in any Bacon, of the other. No. <laughs> he well, hated this. Only Miguel is in the rest of them. He I don't think he's in all of them. Movie? Yes. Yeah. No this way. Was, this was his career low. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Like it's fine. That's really funny. No, yeah, yeah, I mean, because he went from Footloose to this. Like, yeah. I mean, fair. But this would be fun. I feel like this would be a, like if I was like into making movies, I'd be like, this would be fun as fuck to do. Also, it probably took two weeks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's this would take no time. Yeah. But you know, who would hate dancing? The worms. Graboids. Yep. Yeah, the graboids. <laughs> and the mayor of Footloose. So what would you, we haven't done our rating yet, but what would you rate it? I think I rated Dr. Seuss like a six. Did you? Wow, Maybe. okay. It might have been a four. I don't know if you actually gave a number for those. I don't know if I did either. I would give this like a solid, I'm going to say I gave the last one a four because a six feels too high. I would yeah. give this one like a six and a half. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Six and a half, not bad. IMDb rates it a 7.1. Oh, Interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. Well, because you good. kind of say like over a seven, you're like, okay, we can check it out. Yeah, but you it, guys, you guys did check it out. No, we did. <laughs> for I a had fucking no choice dumb podcast. You were excited for this one, though. No, I was. Yeah, I was. Is man. this the most excited you've been for a moist movie of the month? I liked the fat one. Have you <laughs> the fat one? <laughs> did, did that one was my favorite. That one, that one is pretty good, but I think Tremors is my favorite so far out of the really? three. Really? Just because I'd seen it a ton, and I love Reba. That's fair. I think Heavyweights is my number one. Kevin still. Bacon. Yeah. It's just, it's just fun, and also, but I could be a Prisoner moment. I watched it today. Yeah, that's and true. It, you You're know, still basking in it. I'm still basking in the, and then I love the movie ends and Reba's singing. Yeah, like that, that is was just a nice touch. Full circle, baby. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, okay, let's hear her sing, and then, yes, I did. I did read reports that people were mad that they casted her. Weird. For what reason? Because they were like, oh, she's already a country music star. I'm tired of musicians get into movies that sucks for but them. then like but then like when she did it they but were, also who are the other actors yeah. in this film but like, then like when she did it uh the guy whoever it was i forgot who it was was like oh actually she's good <laughs> like and she's actually a badass <laughs> and she goes on to act more in her own tv show good for Rita. which is fucking badass i want to watch her show now me too again i'll be our Another next spin-off spin-off movie. series <laughs> Reba. Yeah, episode, episode by episode. episode. <laughs> episode by, I literally had that. No joke. I had that exact thought while I was watching Tremors. <laughs> I was like, an episode by episode Reba. Patreon only. <laughs> <laughs> episode we make a Patreon just for Reba. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets taken down. Never. 
I, I think we're allowed to if it's behind a paywall. I think you're allowed to do more. But, but also, we don't. We're not, we're not capitalism. We're not playing it. We're just talking about it. Yeah, we're scene by scene. You know, <laughs> <laughs> episode by episode. Yeah. Dive deep and dive in deep. It's casual. <laughs> well, any more closing thoughts on tremors? Don't trust worms. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I've, 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 let me see if I can find the tagline because the tagline is ridiculous for this movie. Don't I trust worms. That, that'd be a good one. Dirt. They're underground. Dirt. That might be it. It's close they to that. They live underground or something. They come from underground, something like that. So the tagline is um, the monster movie that breaks new ground. No, Hilarious. I don't like it. I like it. I don't. They had three taglines. That was the best one. Oh, what was the other two? I don't. didn't write it down. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but this one was the best. The monster movie that breaks new ground. Well, is it time for the moist meter reveal? <laughs> the moist movie of the month moist meter? Yeah. You mean? Yeah. I think it is. All okay, right. bye. Let's pour our drinks. And welcome back to the Moist Movie of the Month, official Moist Movie Meter. Hell yeah, this is when we decide if the Tremors was a glass half full movie or a glass half empty movie. For people just listening, we got pint glasses filled with beer with a divider. For people on YouTube, you can see it, but it's blurred. Yes. And when we're ready, we'll reveal it and see how we rated it based on a pouring system. And but what's wild is the pouring system is not consistent at no, all because i however, do not remember what i did last i month. don't remember what i did last I, I do know that i poured more beer than i did last time i assume i did i hope i, I did. hope i did but what's cool about doing it by pour is it's a feel thing and you just watch the movie yep so you might give it a different rating <laughs> in a few days but this is this is what we did and before we announce our moist movie of the month moist meter we have a special announcement yes the winner of april's moist movie of the month moist meter pint glass is drum roll please <laughs> Melissa, <laughs> please send us an please send us an email with your address. Nothing creepy. Uh, no, just so we can ship them out. We haven't got them yet. But my dad has the email. Your dad has so the images. This is the last month without them. Because once we have them, then we will start drinking them. Yes, using them. and we will send them out to you and our last month's winner. Nathan. Nathan. And we didn't have a first month winner. Because we so. didn't have, we came up with the idea afterwards. Yeah. Well, that's all right. So make sure if you are listening to this and you didn't participate, send us an email next month. Yeah. We haven't decided what movie we're going to pick, but anybody that sends an email will be entered and one person will win. Yes. The a Moist pint. Movie of the Month official Moist Meter Glass. Glass. Super exciting. So now it's time for the reveal. All right. How did we feel about this movie? Three, two, one. Whoa, Ooh, you liked it a little bit more, which I think is true. Yeah, I like, but damn, I'm shocked you did it so high. You were ripping it apart. The, the I wasn't mo- ripping it apart. You were ripping the monsters because you go, just, the monsters shouldn't have rules. No, <laughs> I'm saying the monsters should have rules. I think that's what makes a good horror movie is you get a set standard, an idea, and then at least where they know the rules beforehand and you can play with them a little bit where the people yeah, in the movie like assume the rules, but they assume incorrectly. I'm just saying the rules are kind of dumb. Alien. What about it? It adapts. Mm. Is that rule? Is that a rule? How? But can you give me specifics on how it adapts? Well, it just learns how you behave. Sure. And it plays differently because it's a smart psychological yeah horror film. The thing is, one of the dumbest creatures in na- na- in nature is the worm. And these are blind worms. I, th- I don't think any worms have eyes. Well. But it's also they should have done they should have done it cutting in half and then just shown it. That's to, what I thought was going to happen when the worm got ripped off. Oh, I thought it would become its own worm. That would be wild. They're yeah. just like, oh shit. <laughs> so I'm curious, like in the second them. movie, how do they? Because they killed them all, I guess. I, apparently not. I don't fucking. But know. now we got to chug this <laughs> and then go out. The problem is, it's like. God, I poured almost a full beer. Yeah, better movie, a bigger chug. But then I got to chug more, so it's yeah. like. So then it's also depending. It also helps my pour. Yeah. But I'm not in the mood to chug. I've already had two beers. And two, I've already had two beers and two cigarettes. <laughs> chug this beer, I'm going to have to have another cigarette. But as we <clears throat> enter in Tremors into the Moist Criterion collect, or Moisterian Collection. The Moisterian Collection. Yeah. How would, what's your ranking of the three now? Oh, okay. So we would go, I think I'd go Tremors, Heavyweights, In Search of Dr. Seuss. I would go Heavyweights, Tremors, In Search of Dr. But Seuss. Tremors, barely. Sure. Heavyweights, is so fun. I would put heavyweights a a chunk above it. Like it's, it's heavyweights decent. is so fun, and that would be like that's just a Tremors is like dumb and stupid, and it's a background movie. Yes, and so like I could see myself putting Tremors on like while I'm cleaning. 
Sure. Or like, you know, editing. Just want to hear son of a bitch over and yeah. over. Son of a bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, I love this movie so much. <laughs> it's, it's, it's simple. It. It's simple and fun and ridiculous. It's, and it doesn't like, it's not too over the top in areas. Like, no. In, in some B grade horror movies, it's so cheesy. Yeah. Like this one wasn't. If anything, this could have used a little bit more of that. Yeah. I mean, the dialogue wasn't great. Yeah. But it's like, it wasn't over the top. No, it wasn't anything yeah, horrible. Yeah, fun with yeah. it, you know? So it's time to time, really? to, time to sign off and shrug. I cemented it into the moist ear collection. All right, cheers. Cheers to Tremors and cheers to the moist movie of the month and to the listeners. And cheers to the fucking ground worms. Yeah. The graboids. Doing the hard work out there. Yeah, fucking killing the town of celebration. What was it called? Perfection. Perfection. <laughs> <Don't ask. laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, that was cold as fuck. Hey, up. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck.